Minister Persis Namuganza arrived for the hearing before the Commission of Inquiry into Land Matters in a tough mood and started off by insisting that most of the allegations raised against her were framed by people who sought to taint her reputation. The question of land ownership was not looked at carefully before. Uh, and that is why people are now complaining and people are saying, look, the president was fraudsters were taken to the president, uh, claiming that the land was theirs and they were going to sell it. So. Those mosaic yade msokand, what they were with him in the Flonasa struggle. And he summoned them well knowing the people he was calling. So they started. Namganza had been summoned to give evidence and clarification on a matter relating to three square miles of land in Mubende. As she testified, several of the people who were evicted from the land and the houses burnt were in the room. It is reported that the locals had sought to petition the president as Mubende residents were being evicted from the land. However, instead of the 200 people affected, only 60 were selected to meet the president, with Namganza reportedly leaving out the key complainants and also influencing what they had to say. In your opinion, do you think it would have been important to have the owner of the land involved in these discussions with the president? You have also seen, the time you have seen it, that when it comes to going to the president, of course, if so many people would like to go, even when it's a family, the entire family can say that all of us go, but... We always pick out the leaders and then we take those. That's Don't you think it's a sign of a vote of no confidence? If people have to jump the ministry and have to report directly to the president? You made the first report interim report and mentioned that the commission needed more time. Even me as a minister who have just come into the ministry, I cannot resolve these issues within a day. The minister told the commission that she was tasked by the president to come up with a report from which the president would give a directive or guidance in resolving the matter. However, her report is said to contain false evidence. The docket of land, yes. you present matters before the fountain of honor, you have called him the fountain of honor. Mm -hmm. we, we don't just take anything before the fountain of honor. You respect the fountain of honor. Do you think this case was ready for the fountain of honor to make a pronunciation over it? I don't know now what to say. Because I stated clearly that he invited this meeting. He what sent thing? me to the field. He wanted me to stop him from calling a meeting, my lord. Are you asking me? The minister in her submission complained about the media saying that the matters reported on issues of land sometimes are not factual, but rather tailored to undermine her. Sometimes when you expose somebody and uh, the press speaks it and they have written about that person and they have done one, then the person loses, sometimes lovers can lose their job can lose the family because the feeling we get is that some cabinet members think some things should be kept under the rugs, under the carpet. I don't know whether that is how we want our country to be run. I get a feeling that there are some things we should not touch. Don't touch this. Don't talk about so and so. Don't investigate me. Don't investigate my husband. Don't investigate my sister. Don't investigate my brother. Don't investigate my cousin. Is that how we are going to run this country? The minister nearly lost her call when she was again asked if the report she submitted to the president had facts. If this commission has information regarding the same, and it was appointed by the head of state, you can write to him, give him more information, or ask him whether he is aware about some of those other issues. Because I cannot be here and start thinking about what is in the President's mind, I stated clearly that I did my part. 
The commission asked the minister to succinctly explain or give her side of the story on allegations that she is among the people who say that the commission continues to waste public resources and has not yielded much in their investigations and even their term of office shouldn't have been extended. So are you saying the allegations are not true? Because I want an unequivocal answer. I've not even seen them also. So in other words, you're neither saying they are true or they are not true. So, other, so I should write to the Prime Minister and complain that we think that the ministers of this country are undermining the work of this commission. We are going to actually take this up to the highest office because this is unacceptable. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.